Here we go. Hey, that she passed down on the floor. No. <laughs> All right. Hey, here we go. All right. We're on the next section, which is six seven. Um, we are going to go over our test scores today, but I want to go through the first part here first, or the quiz scores, I should say. I'm going to post those up on the board, and you can kind of see what you got. And I'll hand back your test. You can see your scores. Um, quizzes. Quizzes, I should say. Yeah. Um, but what we're doing today is we're talking about discounts and taxes. Because it's tax day coming up. It's almost perfect. Hey. Tax day. Tax day. day. Or, uh, 15th. Doesn't apply to you guys yet. Or, I got two of us. Yes, it's the dog. Me? Yeah, he's up for now. He's in Taiwan. It's time on. Yeah, on. It's time on. Not time on. I also have a hat. I don't remember. Anyway. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so today, let's talk about what a discount is first, and then we'll talk about a we'll talk about a tax, sales tax. And we're going to try to do a couple examples of this. After we're through this, we'll go through the test today, and then our quiz. Quiz. I keep saying test. And quiz. And then um, once we're done with that, we'll play a game. So, uh, but I want to review our quiz. So that's the part I want to review. I want to go through our quiz scores. Something that has to deal with cash and money. Uh, Monopoly. Mm -hmm. So. Monopoly? Yep. We're, re we're doing two games of Monopoly now. Well, let's put the old one else together. So. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, All right. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about discounts first. So discount. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Let's <laughs> cool. yeah, try to keep that closed. It's, it's too cold today. I felt like little raindrops. My door was sleeping, in. sleeping in. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's oh. too. All right. So a discount is when you have a price of an item, and then if you have a discount is like a percentage that lowers exactly. the price. Exactly. It is a it is a lower price on an object. So they're going to take a percentage off. They're going to take a percentage of the actual price, and they're going to subtract it off. So Ow. price minus whatever that savings is. Like Magic the Gathering, I have to figure out the prices and how much money I can spend on like what to buy. Perfect. Yeah, perfect example. So the example I'll use in class, because this is something that I'm interested in, um, is getting a new phone for my wife. My wife just broke her iPhone, so we're kind of in the market to look for a new one. The problem is five or that six. I what? iPhone five or six. She had an iPhone seven. She snapped oh, the yeah, screen on it, seven. and so we're looking at: do we get an eight? Do we get an X? What are the sales? What are the discounts right now? I so that's people that's that's really the phones cheaper. over flappy. Birds. I agree. Cheap sometimes. So yeah. flappy birds the cheaper. most rageful game ever. Okay. So hey. So here we go. Uh, let's talk about how to find this percent. So here's the idea. On the iPhone that we're currently looking at, it's 899 bucks. She was looking, she was looking at the iPhone 8, so just the 8, but it was the 256 gig, I believe. Um, so 899 dollars, ton of money. But here's the thing. In Best Buy, they said we can get 15% off. Okay, 15% off. That's a percentage off. So what you have to do, just to figure out you know, what that is, you have to take the $899, let's take $899, we have to multiply it by 0.15, because that's percent, right? You change it to a decimal. When you multiply those numbers together, it's going to give you what you're going to save. So tell me the number, please. 134.85. And that's almost perfect. That's almost exactly what they said they're going to take off. So. They said it was going to be 15% off $134. So that means I'm not paying $134 for the phone. I'm paying that much less. So what I need to do, that's my savings. This is what I'm saving on that phone. So what I have to do is I have to subtract it. So I have to take that $899 phone and subtract $134.85. So basically, it's... Uh, um no, it's up to eight nine hundred basically. I'm subtracting ninety nine. So it's eight hundred, yeah. So almost nine hundred dollar phone, but I'm subtracting one hundred thirty four eighty five. What do we get? What's my price of my what we're currently looking at? Uh, you have to look at this one. So I typed it in. Yeah, typed it right. Seven hundred sixty four bucks. Yep. Seven hundred sixty four point one five. So. Yes. 
So $700 phone. Okay, yeah. that's, tough. That's, that's a lot of money for a phone. Now obviously we don't pay that right off the bat. You pay that over time to whatever carrier you're on. Yeah. They just make you pay like 10, 15 bucks a month for it. Um, but you pay it over a long period of time. Now, here's the thing. Target had a better deal. Oh, wow. Target had this. They had the iPhone X. The iPhone X Boy. is $1,100. But they're offering me 25% off. I have now, a feeling that it's not going to be any better. Here, Sam. They're offering me 25% off. Taylor Barkema, come to the office, please. Taylor Barkema. Or, well, so, okay. 275? 275 will have two zeros, I think. Okay, so, so when we actually take the $1,100 and you're going to multiply it by 0.25, say it again, what was that number? 275. 275 bucks, even? Yep. Okay, 275 bucks. That's coming off the price of the phone. So, what I needed to do again, is subtract it. Take the $1,100 phone and subtract the $275. What's my price? $825. Okay, $825. Yeah, even. even. Boom. Which phone should I buy? Yeah, that one. So this is the purpose why you do it. Because this is what um, Target, Best Buy, Walmart, any store will always do this to you. They tell you what the percent off is, they don't tell you what you're going to pay. The reason why, they know most people can't do that. They can't do the math in their head. Or they don't remember how to do it, or they don't care to do it, there's a difference. Um, but, as you can tell, no one in the right mind is going to do this except for somebody that knows how to do it. Right? And now I can tell, like, this may not be the phone I should be buying. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, there's benefits to buying one versus the other. Maybe this is something that's worthwhile to my wife. But, but, so. if you get a Target card, you get an extra 5% off. Exactly. So now, now we're talking. So now we're thinking about all these other deals we can do. And I'll start looking around and I'll start shopping. Question. Just imagine if that one wasn't 15% off and it was still the $899. Now. Then I would go for that one. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing, like this phone, the iPhone X is technically a better phone than that. This phone has a better camera on it, has a bigger screen on it, and potentially has more storage. Yep. So, maybe maybe the extra money is worth it. Maybe. Maybe that maybe I can't afford it, so maybe I gotta go that route. Maybe I can't buy a phone. So we'll we'll try to we'll try to see. Does does this make sense like the whole idea of getting discounts? Like taking the percents. Now, here's my shortcut to you. Because I, I do want to give you a shortcut. Okay, we're going to go to this phone over here, okay? What I'd like you to do right now, this is going to seem a little weird. I'd like you to take 100 and subtract 15. Take 100 and subtract 15. 85. 85, okay, so 85. This is my little shortcut for you if you're ever in the store and you have a cell phone on you. This is what you can do. This number is what you're going to pay for the phone in the long run, 85%. You're taking 15% off, so you're paying 85% of the total price. If you think about it, 100% of the money, minus 15. Take this number, move the decimal over two spots, 0.85, multiply that on that number right now. 0.85 times the 899. Try it out. 0.85, and you're going to take it times 899. Times? Yep, multiply. 76415. Like he said. It will automatically give you the price without having to do extra work. If you, oh, if you so it's take, just an easier way. It's a shortcut. I'm doing the work. Yep, it's a shortcut. If you're in a, and if you're in a pinch and you're trying to do math really quick, you can take 100%, subtract whatever the, they're giving you the discount, and that's your new percent. You just multiply it and it'll give you your final answer right away. No extra steps. One step problem. So over here, I take the 25, you take 100, subtract 25, and that's 75, and you put you type that in your calculator, 0.75, and you multiply it on this, and guess what you can do? That. that. You don't have to do extra work. It's, it's really nice. It'll just give you final answers. But you have to remember you're taking 100% of the cash minus, you're subtracting, I should say, the per discounts off. <laughs> Questions? Okay. All right. Okay. Any, any questions about what we're doing here? Okay. Sales tax. Sales tax is a little bit different. 
Okay, in fact, let me move the camera so I can put it on the other side. All right, here we go. Boom, okay, here we go. So let's talk about sales tax. So now this is different. Now sales tax you have to add into the price. So if you've ever wondered why in the store, when you walk up to the counter and you're like, oh, this is a $30 item, but you get to the register and they're like, oh, it's $35. And you're like, mm, it was $30 in the back. Well, we added sales tax. This is what it is. Sales tax is, a, is an, an extra fee that every state has. There are certain states that don't, that do not have sales tax, but sales tax is used for very good purposes. Sales tax helps schools out, donates money back to schools. It helps donate money back to fixing yeah. roads, or paying off uh, any civil service person like um, officers and fire departments and other things to make sure that they're actually still employed. It's a good thing. Sales taxes are good things. So that's why sales tax goes up and down per year because um, whoever the governor is or the, the, the actual president can actually change sales taxes or change tax rates. Um, and Congress can Don't do that. Don't give him any ideas. So, but it's, it's yeah, clever, okay? So, so here's the idea. Uh -huh. um, for a sales tax, let's say we're going into the store and let's say I'm gonna buy a $30 game. Let's say there was a game for 30 bucks in Best Buy. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy some Xbox okay. or a PlayStation game. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Um, now, sales tax for Iowa is 7%. That's the sales tax in Iowa. Um, I think New York has 13% sales tax. Um, I think there's a, there's a, I think a couple states have 0% sales tax. I think it's like Utah or Montana. There's like 0% sales tax. They just collect their money through the normal tax system at the end of the year. So, but for Iowa, we charge 7% on whatever good it is, as long as it's not produce, like food. Um, something that's made or grown. Um, the chips would have sales tax and stuff, but I'm talking about like, um, I'm talking about like uh, an apple. If you went to Fairway and bought an apple, they're not charging you sales tax on an apple because it's it's freshly grown. So, all right. So what we have to do is we have to multiply this this percent onto your thirty dollars. So take thirty dollars, and we're going to multiply it on the seven percent. So when you when you multiply this, this is the number you have to type in. Because remember, you have to move this decimal two spots, so it's actually 0 0.07, okay? So type this in, so $30 times 0 0.07, I wanna know what that number is. It's just a two, two bucks. 2.1? 2.1 mm dollars? -hmm. Is it that? Is that what it has in your screener? Okay, all right, so 2.1, so that's $2.10. Negative 2.1. Get out, we ignore negatives. All right, so on this point, what we get here, on sales tax, here's the difference. Sales tax, you don't subtract. It's not like when we did these discounts earlier where you were subtracting numbers off. You add? You have to add it. So we're taking $30 and you're going to add in $2.10. So your total object is $32.10. It smells great. Okay. Now, just to give you an idea, um, do you guys know what the uh, minimum wage is right now? Is it like seven, eight dollars? What is it? Eight dollars? Minimum wage? Let's say it's, let's say it's eight. Okay. Well, you gotta make uh, eighteen dollars okay. and twenty nine cents of every okay. hour. All right. Work. So let's say that say let's say that you're you know you're working minimum wage at Bills or you're working at Subway. You're working somewhere. Maybe you're doing a farm hand. Um, but the idea is that you're taking your thirty two dollars and you're going to divide by minimum wages. Minimum wage is eight dollars. It would take you four hours of work to buy that video game. Four hours. You have to work for four hours continuously to even afford that. That's why. Like when I was in school, like this is uh, this is the reason when I was a freshman in high school, I got my first job. I got the the minute I turned a freshman, I started working 30 hours a week every week. The reason why my parents weren't going to pay pay for anything. I worked at a movie store in, in um, Clear Lake. It was movie time video. So, um, but I worked 30 hours a week. So every day after school, I'd go work until it closed. So it was one of those things I had to make I had to make money because. You know, this is something that, you know, for me, was very re relevant. I wanted to go buy a video game. Well, my parents weren't going to buy it for me, so I was going to go work for myself, then I can go buy my game. But I had to think about this. It took me four hours to get to that money. Now, here's the worst part. I wasn't actually making $30 in that four hours. I was making a little less because taxes and insurance and all that. So I had to actually work a little bit longer than that. So you, that was just a minimum. I had to work a minimum of four hours so you can get close to $30. And that's something you need to think about when you're in a job. Like, oh, I'm just gonna go work a few hours. You gotta work quite a few to actually make some money. So that's minimum wage. All right, 
questions, comments about any of the things we've done so far? Nope. All right, perfect. Let me uh, put the camera back. We're going to talk about our quiz and test. Okay, I'm going to put the, the quiz up on the board Here. just so we can discuss it. points total. Um, all right, so the first part, in fact, let me get the lights so we can see this. Oh, okay, so um, I did it two different ways in case you didn't really like it one way. What number is 70% of 45? And then since the x is already by itself, you can just multiply these together. Now, if you set up in the percent, in the proportion way, the rate was 70, so I had to go over 100, because the rate, whatever the rate is, that was 70%, so that goes on over the 100. The small group is what you're missing, that's then the word around, the, uh, the number around the word is, and then the word after of is the base, that always goes on the bottom. And then you just cross, multiply, and divide, and gives you 31. On the next one, 23% of 75, so 23 is 0.23, because that's your percent, times 75, because it was the word of, is what number, so I put a W. You can just multiply those together, it gives you your answer. Or if you set this up, the 23% is the rate that goes over 100. The rate is always over 100. The small group is what you're missing, and the number that came after of goes on the bottom. So I had the 75 on the bottom. So you cross multiply and divide, you get 17. And that makes sense. So how do you do it again? The cross multiply and divide? You take the number above or below your x, you cross multiply to 23. Okay, there. I, I just and then you divide by 100. Which what you yep. have to do. Yep. With always that. multiply diagonally. But you always start with the number above or below the letter. All right, um, next one. 45 is what percent of 90? So if you're doing it this way, 45 is what percent of 90? You have to divide the 90 over. So that's what you have to type in. But you get a decimal, so you have to move that decimal over to give you the percent. Now, if you did it with a proportion way of doing it, in fact, I didn't even write it down. I thought I wrote down the percent. I guess I did. Um, how you do it with a proportion, you would actually put the... The percent is missing. That's the number we're missing on this problem. The 45 is the small group. The base is 90. And that's, so I cross multiply. So I start with the number above or below x. I'm starting with 100. You cross multiply diagonally. Then you divide by the 90. And it should give you that 50%. Okay, um, next one. What are we at? Number four. So we only have a couple more here. Yeah. Boom. Okay, number four. Such a All right. What percent of 77 is 7? So then you have to divide this number over because you want to get the x by itself. So you divide that over. So you get this. And that, that's the number you get in your screen. So you move the decimal over two spots. Now, if you did it with the percent where, you know, I'm missing the rate. That's the number I'm missing that what percent. Um, I had the small group of people and the large group of people. And then you cross, multiply, and divide. So you start with the number both below x. Cross, multiply, and divide, and yes, you get 9.09. .09. That's just the number it would tell you. I think this is easier, but. Okay, next one. 15 is 25% of a number, so you get 0.25, right? You divide that over, you type it in, you get your 60. If you want to type it in like the old fashioned way, 25 over 100, because that's your rate. The 15 is your small group, and the number that comes after of is missing, so you're missing your base. So then you cross, multiply, and divide. And it's taking you six. six. And number six, last one, 18% of the number is 43. So then you have to divide this number over, and you get 238. 
And that just should have made sense. You know, you're doing 18%, you're still getting 43, so that's got to be a pretty big group of people. And again, how you're actually going to solve that, um, if you did it with the, with the proportion way, you'd put the 18 over 100, because that's your rate, the percent number is always over 100. Um, the small group of people that's around the word is, is that, and the number that comes after of is missing, so it's having that. So then you cross, multiply, and divide. But it looks like most most common thing that people miss was just one number here or there, or you accidentally divided the wrong way. You drug the wrong number to the other side and divided it wrong. But everything was setting it up right, so that's good. So I missed three and four, that was it. Yeah. So and it, I think it came down to just, you know, which number do you divide over? You need, yeah. Yeah. So and it, it's a simple mistake. Okay. All right. But well, there you go. Not bad scores. They're already in the grade book. So you can uh you can see your grades yeah. online, so oh. already answered it. So, all right, that's it for today. So, pretty easy. Nice little Friday. We got through everything we wanted to. So.